We are learning new details about the accusations against a Santa Fe veterinarian. Dr. Todd Glover is accused of sexually assaulting two teens during an out-of-town trip to Louisiana. Tonight, a new civil lawsuit claims that the veterinarian used medications from his practice to drug at least one victim. Channel 2 reporter Sally Mamdu live now with a closer look at that lawsuit. Sally? And Dominique, the lawyer representing this victim tells me that they're hoping this lawsuit inspires other, other sexual victim assaults to come forward and demand justice. 36-year-old Todd Glover, a former Galveston County veterinarian and owner of the Animal Hospital in Santa Fe, is now facing a civil lawsuit. Glover is accused of sexually assaulting two teenage girls at a casino in Louisiana in December of last year. And now one of the victims is taking Glover to civil court. According to the lawsuit, the victim says Glover spiked the drinks of the three girls with medication from one of his practices and that Glover raped the girls once the drinks made them unconscious. The lawsuit also accused Glover's business of improperly securing medication. Tonight, the victim's lawyer released this statement saying, quote, it was reported that the Texas Board of Veterinary Medical Examiners found that Glover and his clinics didn't keep proper records of several controlled substances which were under the custody, care, or control of the targeted defendants. The ability to recover in a civil form for monetary damages is infinitely easier than the state proving guilt beyond a reasonable doubt in criminal court. KPRC legal analyst Brian Wise says the odds of a win are typically in favor of the victim in a civil case. However, Wise says most prosecutors would rather the victims wait till the conclusion of an ongoing criminal case. There may be some details that the criminal defendant may obtain in the course of the civil lawsuit that gives them a leg up, so to speak, in the criminal prosecution. Now, according to this lawsuit, the victim here is seeking $100,000 in relief. We now know that Glover's veterinary license has been temporarily suspended in Houston. Sally Mamdu, KPRC, Channel 2 News.